Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another pregnancy update. So as of today, I am 13 weeks. I will do, I will remember to do a bump date at the end of this video. I realized I forgot in the last one. I'm gonna try and get better at this. So I am exactly 13 weeks today, so I am reflecting back on weeks 10 through 12 this week. If you've missed any of my other videos, I will link them down below, but if you've been following my fertility journey, I am a first time mom. It took us about a year and a half to get pregnant. I have tons of videos on that subject as well. And I'm just so excited to be taking you guys along on the journey this time around. So week 11, baby was the size of a strawberry, one and a half to two or one and a half inches, a quarter of an ounce. Um, so that's according to the what to expect app, which is what I've been using. And I told you guys in the last video at week 10, I thought I had gained a pound and I was like, yay, like my first pound of pregnancy weight gain. But then when I weighed myself week 11, I had gone all the way back to my starting weight, which was a three pound change from week 10. So I was a little nervous, like losing three pounds in a week is, I mean, it's not crazy, but it's like significant. And so I texted my cousin who's a nurse and I was like, um, I'm like back to my weight before I found out I was pregnant. Is this a problem? Should I be concerned? And she was like, no, you're going to fluctuate for a while. It's fine. Um, but I did decide to look up how many calories you're supposed to be eating during first trimester and you're supposed to be eating 1800 calories a day. So for me, just as someone, I'm naturally like a light eater. Um, I mean, I'm a huge snacker, like little things throughout the day. I love eating food, don't get me wrong, but I'm a very slow eater, so I don't eat large amounts. So especially with that, paired with my past and pageantry, like 1800 calories a day felt like so much. I knew there was no way I was hitting that. So um, I've been trying to, I've not been the best at it, but I'm trying to log my food in my fitness pal to see if I'm hitting that 1800 calorie diet per day. Um, and that helps me a little bit because there was one day that I didn't start like adding my food in right away. I added it in at like three o'clock in the afternoon or something and I'd only eaten like 500 calories that day. And so I was like, okay, I have 13 calories to go and technically only one meal left. Like I need to do like a lot more damage than that. So that is something I'm trying to do just because obviously I wanna have a healthy pregnancy. I'm not trying to like go crazy and binge on like junk food, but I do need to be getting 1800 calories in a day. So I'm trying to do that as well as drink more water, which most of you know is such a struggle for me. So those are two things that I'm really working on because of that weight loss, it just kind of triggered that. Um, so symptoms, week 11, I was still very tired. Um, that was the first week I noticed the increase in cervical mucus, it's like cervical fluids. And that is very normal. Um, it's just trying to keep the bacteria out and keep everything balanced down there. So it's just going to be a lot more, sorry, I know a lot of people hate the word moist, but like, I don't know how else to describe it. That's just what it is. Um, and I'm also someone who hates underwear. <laughs> and so the fact that I have to wear underwear all the time so that I can wear a liner because of the increase in cervical mucus is so annoying to me because I don't know, there's just a lot of scenarios where I feel like underwear is unnecessary. That's just how I feel. I had what I thought was a super exciting thing happen during week 11. I was, I think like laying sideways on the couch. I had my hand kind of under my stomach a little bit and I like felt what I thought was a heartbeat that was faster than my own heartbeat. I like had one hand down here, one hand up here and was like comparing and they were not like in unison. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I felt the baby's heartbeat. This is so cool. And Jordan was gone. I don't remember where he was. So I texted him about it because I was so excited. And it happened, like I noticed it a couple more times the next few days. So I decided to look it up and I was like, is this just crazy? Like, am I really feeling the heartbeat? Baby's so tiny. And that it was not the baby's heartbeat. Apparently that was the abdominal aorta. 
So basically just like a giant, from what I understood online, again, not a doctor, what I understood online, it's just like the big blood vessel that pumps the blood from your heart to the baby. So obviously it's working harder than if you weren't pregnant. And um, so it's just like pumping all that blood to get to the baby. So you can feel that in certain places through your stomach and it is not the baby's heartbeat. Another exciting thing that happened during week 11, we announced it, we told all of you guys. So now this is, I think, the first video I've fil I am filming that you guys already know that we're pregnant, which is just so cool. And there were so many weeks prior to this that I wanted to talk about it. Like I just wanted to get on Instagram stories and like ask people questions and talk about the, the things I've been thinking about and reading about. And so it's just so nice now to have like everyone know. And I also had my birth center tour during week 11. So I mentioned this once before and I'm still gonna do a full video on it of birth center versus hospital because those are kind of the two options I'm working with. But guys, this birth center is like the birth center of my dreams. It is so gorgeous. I mean, the practitioners have been doing it for a very long time, but the building itself is four years old. It is super modern, gorgeous. There's like a giant birthing tub that overlooks the mountains. And I'm like, yes, this is where I wanna labor. So <laughs> that is my hope. Um, I'll talk about it more in the other video, but there's just a ton of stuff to figure out with insurance and whatnot. And there's just a lot up in the air. So. That is where I want to give birth and they know that. We just have to figure out all the insurance side of things. So that is my hope. I'll of course keep you guys updated as we find out more about that. So week 12, baby was the size of a lime. So two to two and a quarter inches and half an ounce. So week 12 was exciting because this is the first, like, I guess non-symptom is that the being super tired, exhausted, lethargic totally went away. I mean, I was still tired at like normal person hours, <laughs> if that makes sense. But like, I did a deep clean of the house. We like took a bunch of stuff to the storage unit, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I was able to do a lot of these like moving around the house things. And I wasn't like exhausted by noon. It was really exciting. I was able to get stuff done. We also had like two nights in a row. One night we were up with my family. The other night we were hanging out with friends and both times we were up till like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And I was not like passed out on the couch, which had happened earlier in the pregnancy. It's like then at eight, nine o'clock tops, I was like out. Like I'd have to go find a guest bedroom and just like put myself to bed because I couldn't hang. And so both nights in a row, I was able to stay up to a decent hour and be totally fine the next day. So I'm really excited that my energy is coming back. Okay, so I took a photo during week 11 and I was like, oh my gosh, guys, I think it's starting to look like a pregnant belly. I, I think it's still to anyone else, it just still looks like bloat, which is fine, it's early on. Um, but just to describe the way it feels, like it just feels like my stomach is like swollen if that makes any sense at all. Like, I don't know how else to describe it, just like my stomach feels like it's swollen. Um, I definitely notice it like sticking out more, it being more noticeable, at least to me. Um, constipation is something that has continued all through first trimester, as well as breakouts, those still have not stopped. And um, this is something I just hadn't mentioned in any of my previous weeks, but this has been pretty consistent as well through the first trimester is every night I'm getting up to go to the bathroom like two to three times per night, which in general is fine. It's not a huge deal. The only ones that drive me a little bit crazy is like if I have to wake up an hour or so before my alarm goes off, my body just has a really hard time falling back asleep because it's like, eh, it's basically time to wake up, right? And so those are the, are the only ones that have been super annoying, but waking up throughout the night to use the restroom has not been a big deal for me. Oh, week 12 also with weighing myself and everything, I did go back up two pounds. So still I've been in that same range all first trimester, just fluctuating within like a two pound window. So really I have not gained any weight in this pregnancy yet, which is crazy to me because of what my belly feels like. 
I feel like this is additional weight, but like the app said, I think it's baby's not even an ounce yet. So I think a lot of this is just like my body expanding. Those are like the main updates for week 11 and 12. But now into the fun stuff. I actually went baby clothes shopping for the first time and did a maternity haul with New York and Company. By the way, thank you New York and Company for sponsoring this portion of the video. But um, one last thing before I get into the clothing. So I mentioned earlier loading up a bunch of stuff for the storage unit. So we are in a duplex right now, a two bedroom, one and a half bath, and we are kind of slowly looking for a house. It is an insane market in Salt Lake, and I wouldn't say we're picky, but I mean, we want a yard and a garage, and we're not millionaires. And so like, that's kind of the ballpark that we're in right now, but we're in a good situation right now. We're month to month where we're at and we want whatever house we buy because it's gonna be stupid expensive compared to where we come from in Northern Idaho. Um, so if we're gonna put down that kind of money, we want it to be a property a lot um, that we are going to enjoy so we're not really in a rush. So I know a lot of people with the pregnancy and everything would be like rushing to try and get in a house before the due date. We're not doing that. Um, we're still just kind of taking our time. And um, yeah, if we get a house before the baby comes, awesome. If not, no big deal. So as of right now, like I said, we have a two bedroom. And so the spare bedroom has always been like Jordan's home office, which he used during quarantine. And then it's just been the catch-all for all of our boxes, all the things that just didn't have a home here because me and Jordan, since we got married later in life, we both had enough stuff to fill our own apartments. And so then when we combine, there's just stuff that we don't have room for. And so all of that got shoved in the spare bedroom. So we've got all that stuff. We also, since we have a carport here and not a garage, there's certain, like stuff like fishing gear and camping gear and whatever that you would normally keep in a garage that we don't have. So it also goes in the spare bedroom. So anyways, because we don't know if the nursery is going to be in this house or the next, we just wanted to slowly start clearing out that second bedroom. So as we accumulate baby stuff, we can start putting it in there. And then as it gets closer, um, if it looks like we're gonna be here, we'll start setting up the nursery in that room. So, um, we went and got a storage unit a couple weeks ago and we took the first load there. And then this weekend, next thing on my list is loading up more boxes to just slowly start clearing that out and make room for baby. I'm a planner. I'm an organizer. Most of you probably know this about me. And so even though I've been told you're not supposed to plan your own baby shower, I just really wanted to get them on the books and Kind of assign the people that are doing them with their duties so just so i know it's gonna happen and i know it's gonna happen um kind of in the timeline that i'm hoping for so i actually decided to do two showers i'm doing a friend baby shower and a family baby shower for a couple reasons so um i have a big family so if we try to combine the friend shower with the family shower we just wouldn't have room in anyone's home because it's gonna be during the winter. If it was in the summer, like we could do a backyard bash kind of thing. But since it's in the winter, there's just like, no one's living room is going to house like 30, 35 people. So I split them into two. And so I'm doing a family shower, which my cousin is putting on, and then a friend shower, which a couple of my friends are putting on. So I've talked to both of them. They know that they're in charge. They can run with it. They can do the themes, whatever they want. I'm not getting involved with that. Okay, let's get to all the fun clothing stuff. So as you know, I've been working with New York and company for many months now. I get to pick out items with them every month. And June, I guess my July products that I chose, um, I did know I was pregnant when I selected those, but you guys didn't know I was pregnant. So. All I did really was I sized up from like where I'd normally be a small, I grabbed a medium just so I could for sure wear it once I got it, get the photos, because I had no idea. Everyone's belly kind of pops at a different time, and so I didn't know what to expect. So I just sized up a little last month, but this was the first month where I'm like, okay, 
I feel my belly changing like rapidly and I'm now 13 weeks. So going forward, I'm gonna need stuff that is kind of maternity friendly. So that is what I was thinking as I selected the items for this month. So first things first, I got this super fun tank top. Now this is one item that's not necessarily maternity, but I just could not pass it up because of the like pattern on this. So it's a halter tank and it looks a little something like this. I think it is so pretty. I love that pattern. It's like a little bit vintage and I really like this handkerchief hem because it's a little bit longer and like pointed in the front. So if my belly pokes out a little bit, we've got that extra room for it to kind of ride up. So it's nice and light and loose, which is perfect because even though we're here at like the end of August, I know that it's gonna be hot here in Utah through like October. So I'll still have a good couple months to wear this. And I also figured that this could work with like my maternity leggings and just like a cute black sandal for work or for whatever. And I believe I got this one in a medium. Yes, just to make sure it was gonna fit for a little while. Okay, so next up, as a lot of you guys know, I'm working from home right now. Potentially in September, we're gonna go back to a hybrid of a couple days in the office, a couple days at home. And so I just wanted some more comfortable at home shirts. This may be shocking to a lot of people, but I don't really own t-shirts. Like I watched so many pregnancy vlogs where the girls are like, yeah, I don't need to buy maternity clothes. I just wear my oversized t-shirts. I don't own oversized t-shirts. Like I don't wear things like that. I don't have things like that. So I needed some casual at home maternity friendly tops for work from home days. So I got this V-neck faux wrap t-shirt in a beautiful orange color. I love orange and it's high waisted enough that I think this will work with the bump. I can just kind of hike it up a little bit as needed. This is elastic waist. And again, it has that handkerchief hem in front. So if my bump pokes out a little bit, we've got plenty of extra room. So really excited about this one. I believe this is, yes, also a medium. Last but certainly not least, I'm so excited about this one. So I'm usually more of a fitted person. As I said, I don't really do oversize in my normal life. But if you guys follow Kristen Johns or any of those like influencers, like fashion influencers that have been pregnant during the spring summer, I always saw them wearing those super flowy dresses over their bump and it was just so cute. So I wanted to get something similar for fall and I found this tiered dress on New York and Company, little v-neck and then the three tiers. I think this is gonna be so pretty. It's a short sleeve with a ruffle and then the keyhole back. And as I say, every time, anytime I do an unboxing, you're gonna see at least one green item because it is like my absolute favorite color. And I just think this is gonna be such a cute fall maternity dress. I'll pair it with some little booties and um, it'll be awesome. So really, really excited about this one. Also got this one in a medium. I know we covered a lot today. It was a lot of info. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Um, I'm going to be continuing these updates every other week for the foreseeable future until little one makes its appearance. Oh, bump shot. I promised you a bump shot. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, so this is what little bump is looking like right now. Oh my gosh, this looks huge in this little camera. Um, this is actually a maternity dress too. I think I showed you guys this dress in the last video. Um, it's the Ingrid and Isabel from Target. And I hadn't worn it yet. And I was like, it's almost end of summer. Like I really planned on this as a layering piece for fall winter. But I was like, you know what? It's a tank top dress. Just go ahead and wear it. It's summer, it's tank top weather. And so I was like, okay, if it's like hugely baggy, I won't wear it today. And then I put it on and the bump is just like, bumping so i'm like yeah i think i can get away with wearing this now again this is a 13 week bump anyways thanks so much for watching thanks for following along i love being able to share this journey with you guys again if you have any ideas of videos and things you would like to see go ahead and drop them down below if pregnancy stuff is not your vibe 
Number one, I'm proud of you for watching this long of a video about pregnancy if it's not your thing. Um, so I will have other non-pregnancy content coming out as well. Um, I'll be doing my Miss USA picks here coming soon. I'll continue doing fashion and unboxing. I actually had someone send in a really fun fashion video idea that I wanna make sure and do this fall. So yeah, new stuff coming all the time. If you have any ideas, let me know. And I will see you guys back here next week.